Hi guys, welcome back to Finpact. Today I want to talk about how I think that if Bitcoin hits $19,000, then we might go back into a mini bull run. Maybe not the bull run we saw back in 2020, but a smaller one as we have seen them over the years in the crypto market cycles. Now, there's no guarantee that Bitcoin could hit $19,000, but currently the charts show that we are in a bullish trend upwards. How long this is sustained, we do not know, but if it is sustained, then I do think that Bitcoin can get to $19,000, it's currently sitting at $17,000, and maybe we are able to see some better momentum in the markets and some more projects coming around and more investment opportunities. If Bitcoin does hit around $19,000, then this mini bull run may not be sustained because it depends on the fundamentals of the market. If we continue to see such huge catastrophes like the FTX scandal, but if we move forward with better regulation in the market and more confidence across the board, then I do think we could see a mini bull run. Remember, this is not financial advice. This is purely my predictions and they may not be accurate. So bear that in mind. I'm not telling you when to buy or sell. I'm just telling you what my trading strategies are and what my outlook is on the market. And guys, if you made it to this video, then please hit that like button and that subscribe button and that bell notification so that you get informed on when I release a video as a lot of the information is time sensitive. As you know, things in crypto move very quickly and in the stock markets. So just jumping onto CoinMarketCap, you can see that Bitcoin is currently stabilizing at $17,000. It was hitting lows of around $15,500, bouncing back to $16,000, but we have stabilized. The rest of the crypto market is still pretty subdued. I mean, we have Cardano sitting at 31 cents, which was practically what it was nearing the beginning of the last bull run when the bull run was starting. So we aren't as low as the bear market prices that we saw prior to 2020 before the bull run, which is actually good news. And that signifies that there has been a lot more institutional investment. There have been a lot of major players, whales that have come in and just held on to reserves of various cryptocurrencies. So we all know that the markets did crash in November 2022 with the FTX scandal. And as you can see, the prices have declined substantially to the lowest we saw around $15,500 to $600 level. And we were sort of trading sideways. But as you can see, this is going in an upward trajectory between this point here from around the end of November to now. And I do think that there is a possibility that we can break past this support line here and go towards the upside if there is good fundamental news. It will take quite a few months, but I think Bitcoin can hit around $19,000 eventually and then go upwards towards around $23,000 to $24,000 over time. We know that overall, over the last 10 years, Bitcoin's price has consistently gone upwards. Yes, the volatility has been ginormous. There's been huge swings. But overall, it has gone always back up because people believe in the fundamentals of the decentralized cryptocurrency. And we also know that Bitcoin is the leading confidence indicator in the overall crypto markets. Generally speaking, if we see Bitcoin's movements upwards, then we see exaggerated movements in the altcoins, whether it be upwards or downwards if Bitcoin went down. So you can see that from September last year, we were trading sideways. There wasn't any huge upswings. We did think there was going to be one in the beginning of November, but then of course the FTX crash was unprecedented and we dropped to the lowest of lows that we've seen around the 2020 bull run of around 15,500. And now if I zoom in in a second on this part here, we are showing a bullish trend upwards. But whether this trend will be sustained over 2023, um, we aren't sure. It will also depend on all the, like I said, the fundamental improvements that take place in the crypto industry and also in the global macroeconomic sentiment, if inflation gets better, if interest rate hikes tend to stop or at least stabilize. So we can see better grounds for a new bull run to take place. But let's just zoom into the short term chart because I don't think it's going to hit $19,000 in the short term. I think we might stabilize around $17,500 and trade sideways for the next few weeks and then maybe hit around $18,000 if market conditions improve. But I do think we will be stuck between $16,500 and $17,500 for the next couple of weeks, especially during Christmas time. Things generally seem to be slower globally, not just in the crypto markets, but also in the stock markets 
deal flow is generally slower, even in the corporate world. People are gearing up for the end of the year and, well, motivation tends to be slightly less across all industries, at least that's my opinion and that's what I've observed over the years. But of course, it is important to prepare in advance if we know some idea of where we think Bitcoin's price is going to head into the new year. So guys, I'm on the one month chart and after the FTX scandal, naturally we've seen a lot of volatility, but we've hit the lowest point Bitcoin was expected to hit recently and it could still go lower if the market conditions worsen. But if we do continue in this bullish trajectory, as you can see, then I do think we can stabilize around the $17,000 level all the way up to the $17,600 level from these two peak points here. But of course, a lot of volatility is to be expected if we continue on a bullish trend. Now, over the last year, when we saw some of the major crashes back in June, um, we did see a lot of volatility follow after, but it was always going towards the upside. It was only when we saw so many disasters happen in the market that the overall Bitcoin price was just heading downwards. Now, right now, I don't know if anything worse can happen after the FTX scandal. I mean, it would be a bad scenario if another exchange goes bust. But if that is not the case and we see continued good news, better regulations, then I do think that this bullish pattern will continue and we may see a reversal of the trend around $19,000. This was a really interesting article that sort of summarizes the point I'm trying to make. And this was said by an expert. An expert said that BTC has not outperformed the downside in recent months, so investors no longer view it as a safe haven. And this was said by Wes Hansen, who is the Director of Trading and Operations at Crypto Fund Arca. He also said that more broadly, the events of November 2022 have shaken the confidence of a lot of investors in this space. I completely agree with that. I think so many investors are considering whether they should have ever even been in crypto. It's so easy to get scared when you see catastrophes happen in a new industry rather than focus on actually what can be done now to develop the industry further what infrastructure is needed, what regulations are needed. And I'll go into how the UK has been proposing new bills for cryptos and how to regulate it further so that they can prevent crashes like the FTX scandal that would impact consumers. But he also then goes to say, in prior cycles, investors would move into BTC to protect the downside when the market fell off. But because of the size of this year's scandals and their far reaching impacts, a lot of investors aren't moving to BTC because they're just leaving the space entirely. Now, I don't think that is entirely true. Yes, I do think that lots of investors are just exiting crypto completely, but the lows we're seeing in the prices are nowhere near as the lows we've seen in previous bear markets. I think people are so quick to forget how bad the bear markets would get in the past. They could still get worse, but I still think that there are these innovative funds and hedge funds and crypto funds and crypto exchanges and loads of industry players that are still gonna hold on and maybe the this is exactly that. Maybe this entire catastrophe is shaking out retail investors that have more to lose and institutions are going to maybe jump in. Just to support my point there, you can see that Goldman Sachs is on the hunt for bargain crypto firms after FTX fiasco. Meaning these huge institutions that have large amounts of capital, lots of money to spend are going about and trying to find crypto firms at bargain prices. Whereas the retail investors are too scared to even stay in crypto. But imagine if all these institutions start buying up crypto firms and the market starts going towards a bull run again. And then that strangely is the point when retail investors want to get back involved and have a quick profit. But it doesn't work that way. When you invest, one of the strongest philosophies I've always had is that I like to invest in projects, companies, stocks, cryptos that I believe are going to solve problems in the future. And I do think cryptocurrency and the decentralized industry is definitely solving problems that we've seen in centralization, but I think there's a lot of work that is required. It's a new and growing industry. And I also think a lot of lessons are going to be learned from what we've seen in this past bull run be it the Terra Luna fiasco, be it Elon Musk's tweets, or be it the FTX scandal. There are so many learning lessons when mistakes happen. Of course, it's awful for the people that are impacted and the impacted parties, well, the regular consumers. That is the saddest thing. But as an industry as a whole, I think 
if the industry is to survive, they've got to learn from these mistakes and add the adequate measures and regulations that are to be required. Now, I'm not going to go into the exact details, but this is an example of what the UK is doing. The UK is planning for regulation of the crypto sector. So they do want crypto based companies to thrive, but they still want to protect consumers from mis-selling, false advertising, fraud and mismanagement. So the FCA, which is the Financial Conduct Authority, will be overseeing crypto more broadly. And I think if they're able to add the right regulations that are able to provide enough control, but also enough decentralization to thrive at its best, then I think it could be a success. But again, it all depends. And I truly think a lot of governments really need to understand crypto before they propose the bills. They need to use wallets and know how to transfer funds. And if they're able to do that, then I think this could be a great thing. Anyway, guys, I think this video is probably long enough, but I will make another update video in the next few days. And let me know what you guys think. Do you think Bitcoin is heading towards $10,000 or do you think it is heading towards $19,000? I think it could head to either depending on what sort of new fundamental news comes out, whether it's positive or negative for the crypto sector. And also remember, none of this is financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Cryptocurrencies, stock markets, all these markets are very, very risky and they're very volatile. Capital could always be at risk and you could lose your money. So just be careful and do consult a financial advisor because nothing in this video is financial advice. And I, if you want more details, then check my disclaimer down below in the description box. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.